Hopefully it's just not me looking like that. <laughs> Here we go. Hi, everybody. Oh, it's working. Look, my computer's working today. I'm not the one lagging. Weird. <laughs> Very bizarre. Well, I'm glad it's working good because my. Oh, Nick's got it too. Yay. I've got it too. It's Happy got some weird... Tuesday, everybody. It's Record Store Day show. Yes, it is. Black Friday show. Our setup is a little different today because they've already started moving this whole area around. Our tables moved, our cameras moved, our setups moved. We're a little. It's because when we when we start the line on Thursday morning, whoever we can uh, let in, we'll let in obviously to the. Give me my water. I'll be right back. To the to the uh, room that's got heat, right? You never know how long people are going to be standing outside. It can be anything, depending on, any length, depending on what people want. So. The show, the majority of the show today is going to be um, going through what we do have. We've been really fortunate. Um, there's only four, five, six, seven, nine titles that we have not received as of this point. And I know there was uh, some pushed. There was like five or six that got either canceled or pushed. And some of these may be. They might be those as I'm well. I think you're um, I'm trying to see which ones. There's one people. that might have been pushed that we did get. Look at that Noah Khan. We did get Noah Khan. Because that's been the most, they talk, were talking about that was one of the ones that was the most, um, what do you call it, allotted. Oh, okay. Because everyone wanted it. And let's see, I'm thinking. Yeah, so um, we've got everything, but what did I say, seven? Yeah, pretty good. 171? 175. I think there was 170. I think it was 175. They probably pulled five. And 171 is what I had yeah, when I printed the right. sheet. So it could have changed. I have not gone in to look at a more current sheet. Is Nick's phone for the mic? No, it shouldn't be. I don't believe it. It's uh, The mic is on the camera. Are you having problems hearing us or not hearing us today? What's going on? <clears throat> Let us know so we can try to fix it, right? Yeah. Yeah. It shouldn't be, but I just did a software update on the camera, and I'm wondering if that's why those my phone. You know, those up. updates always mess everything up. Yeah, they always have some weird, goofy thing going on. So hopefully, we have some volume. Just let phone. us know. I'm sure they'd tell us if they couldn't hear us. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so I hope everybody's doing well. It's a dreary, cold, rainy day up here in northern Illinois. It's it's a good day to go through record store day stuff. <laughs> we got a ton of it. Yeah, we so we don't day. we're not doing day of the week. We're not doing birthdays. We're not doing anything. Just wondering why he has the video on my phone. So the, this is my controller for the for, for the, the camera. camera. Yeah. Although it's not working. That's what's goofed up today. It's not. But it looks like we're streaming okay. So. Everything streams fine. So I'm just gonna yeah. leave it. Well, you ready to hit this? Let me let me go through what we don't have first. Yeah, I'll start with that. So, um, I didn't write everything. Um, the color field, the very best of, which is a, a full size LP. Um, Bolivio by Enon, also a full record. Uh, Kelly Finnegan, which is a 45, 45 box set. And that's called a Joyful Sound 45 box set. Um, K Flag, K Flay. Mm -hmm. It's been so long. That's a seven-inch picture disc. Um, I'll grab my list here. Lenny K and Cedar Sparks Holiday Split Seven Inch. Um, Mike James Kirkland. No, yeah, Mike James Kirkland called Hang On In There. That's an LP. Um, oh, I think John. I think the John Murphy came in. Oh, good. Didn't it? Yes. So, oh, good. We can scratch that one off the list, but it needs a photo. Apparently, there's no photo in there. And then the other two are just various artists that we haven't gotten in yet, which is um, various artists, the Istanbul 70, uh, Psych Disco Folk Edits by Boris K, Volume 1 through 6, and various artists, Rostrum Records 20, which is a 2LP. Some different ones. Yeah, so those are the ones that we do not have in. Everything else except one that I missed um, is the very artist Tough City solo MC jams. Everything else is in toadhallonline.com. Oh, yeah, we should I'm show gonna, that link. 
I'm gonna um, that's gonna drop share the, a link so you can link browse there. all the stuff. And it's got prices now. Most of the prices should be set, but we're, we got to do some more tweaking. There might be stuff that goes up a buck or down a dollar. So. And they are all going to say one at this point. Hopefully, today I'll be able to, I'll be able to get the quantities in that we do have, and then if anything else comes in tomorrow, that can be updated. Yeah, hopefully, to the end of the day, we should have everything ready for Black Friday, except for what um, might come in on the on the record side. Yeah. The store will still be getting set up and doing deals yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Before we get into all, like, all the stuff, we're going to have these sweet mystery bags going. <laughs> we got another big batch of mystery bags. We sell out of these every year. Um, if you're going to be watching our live stream for Black Friday, um, it's 15 bucks. It's five albums. One is new. One is a 70s rock pop record. One used Christmas record and two mystery albums. Ooh. We, got a, we got, I don't know, 20 of these or so. Um, sell out of them every year. So mystery bags are back uh, for Record Store Day. Mm -hmm. No one seems to be getting the color field, which I really wanted. So maybe that's when they got pushed. I think it did. Let me look. You know, you know what? I'm on the I got the release right here. But... I've got uh, an email. Let me look at the emails. The secret emails from the distributors to see what I can find. You know, something did get taken off the list because when I'm pulling up the Record Store Day list... It's showing 170, and um, it was 171 before. We also got one that is on the UK list, but I don't see on the, I did not see on the records, on our record store day list. Let me see if it got put So here's there. the first list of canceled. Uh, both Gil Scott Aarons, the LP and the CD. Mm -hmm. Scarlett Johansson. Mm -hmm. The King Missile Happy Hours canceled. The Pauly Shore and the Cresties yep, that was got canceled. canceled. And Missing Persons Live in 81, which. We got. We got that. And I couldn't find it anywhere on recordstoreday.com for us. I went to recordstoreday.com UK, and they have it on their list. We did get some. We got them. Yeah. I don't know how many we Let's got. Let's see what's going on with this. So we did get that one. Huh. Is right. so everybody getting excited for that eBay Live coming up? Probably not till after Record Store Day, right? Yeah, we won't do an eBay Live Record Store Day stuff till after. Yeah. We'll do an eBay Live probably, shit, probably Sunday. Because, I mean... Well, Sunday is the day... No. Actually, no. Saturday you can upload, right? Uh, because... Saturday morning, 8 a.m. So, we'll put them on our website Saturday and uh, not eBay later on Saturday. And then I'll probably do an eBay Live like Sunday. Yeah, Colorfield is still on the list. So, the ones that I named... Are all on the list. The Colorfield, Enon, Kelly Finnegan, Kay Flay, Lenny K. C uh, Cedar Sparks, Mike James Kirkland, and then the two various artists. They're still all on the list. So I'm not sure which one of the 171 I have on my list yeah. got pulled that it's only 170 now. So the Colorfield seems to be the only one that everyone's really looking forward to yeah. that we haven't picked up yet, but... Mm -hmm. Not sure what's going on with that. No, nope. we'll let you know. I'm, I'm sure more stuff is going to show up today. It could just be a late, late ship today or tomorrow. Could be. Yeah, we got two days left. Yeah. Psh, why even sweat it? <laughs> yeah, it's only Black Friday. Yeah, it's right. not the full one, right? Right. Yeah, it's only one. <laughs> All right. Here's the Noah Khan, which is going to be a hot title. Um, I think he's up for best new artist. Oh um, really? Noah Khan, if. 25 bucks seems like a really good price. I know it's only five songs, but it's a hot artist. I think that's going to be a hot ticket. I'm going through these to see if any of the ones that I've got on my list are the ones that are missing. Cool kids. I'm calling oh, you started on a weird box. You started like on the case, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Friday music. It's colored vinyl. I don't know what color it is. I'm sure the website says. Um, Apparently, I don't have my alphabet here today. The neck. Countdown. Live 1980. 2,500 units, pink vinyl, 31 bucks. This is it's $61 for this Los Lobos, but it's three LPs. It's long class. It's got a bonus disc of unreleased demos. Expanded and improved for audio fidelity. So it's cool. It's got a bunch of session outtakes on it. Original album, original album continued, and then all the session outtakes. It's, it's heavy. It's three LPs. It's a nice kind of a bundle. I think I, I know it. which one isn't on the list anymore, but I'm still looking. Lincoln Park Lost Demos. This is the Lost Demos for Meteora, which is a 
big album, obviously. The one after uh, Hybrid Theory. Um, it's pretty cool to see all these big hits like Lost, Fighting Myself, More for the Victim, Massive, Healing Foot, A6, Faint, of course, was a huge hit. So it looks like the one box. that was taken off the list was that very, uh, Various Artists Istanbul 70. Okay. That is not on the list. Now, everything else I have here, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight titles that we have that we that we have not gotten yet. I'd expect to get more today. Little Feet, Waiting for Columbus. 51 bucks, three LP. I mean, three LPs for 51 bucks doesn't seem like a bad deal. No, it doesn't. So, oh, it's just 15 bucks. A over Seems like a piece. solid deal. Good morning, everybody that's hopping in. You I know we're getting a lot of people adding in. We're, uh, go through the crates of what we're, we we're talking record store day today. What yeah. are you looking forward to? What can we show you? The next thing you get a crate going, we're going to kind of flip flop between us. Jerry Lee Lewis at the Palmino Club. That one might be pretty good. 41 bucks. Hellfire smoked vinyl. For those of you popping in, I just dropped the link that will take you directly to. Our website to the Black Friday um, 23 listings. Um, like I was saying, we have all but, I think, seven titles so far. So you can go in there and see pricing. You can see what they look like. You can see the titles. Just not quantity yet. They're quantity, all going to say one. Quantity, until yeah. probably this afternoon. This is the record that I had a hand in. in influencing. Mm -hmm. the Nick Biscuit. the Influencer. <laughs> they were going to do CD only. And I said, are you freaking crazy? Look at all the titles on here. Hot Dog, Break Stuff, My Generation, Faith, Master of Puppets, Nookie, of course, My Way, Roland. I mean. How many? Oh, and the Mystery Bag, I think it's five, right? Oh, Mystery Bag has five records in it. Five albums. One of them is new. One of them is a new record. One seventies pop rock. One Christmas and two mystery albums. So, ooh, mystery. I mean, three. Albums. It's like three bucks a record, but you got to think that the new record's probably worth at least fifteen to twenty to twenty-five bucks. Right. I mean, there's not many new records that are under that are fifteen no, bucks. No, They're usually twenty definitely bucks. Definitely not. So you're already getting a new record that's at least worth that, and then you're getting a seventies, eighties rock or seventies pop rock, a Christmas and two mysteries. I mean, there's some good seventies rock. This. I remember when we made this. We made these like a month ago. Yeah, uh, we did. There was like a Led Zeppelin in there. There was like Bad Company. There was like, you know. So the 70s rock pop albums should be something pretty decent. Younger minds remember a lot more because I don't remember anything we put in there. I remember <laughs> a few of the highlights. Um, I, the Christmas records I sort of remember. Um, the, like, like so cool TMNT poster behind us. Yeah. That's Six bucks. Cool. I should get that for my neighbor, um, Angelo. He does my um, shoveling during the winter. He lives right down the street. He loves TMNT. Crafty, get that truck back a roll and you got three days, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, Crafty, feeling your pain. Paul's is in the shop for a new starter and a new blower motor. Yeah. Yeah. And I need some tires <laughs> on my flex, so I need to sell some records. <laughs> Along. Crafty wants that with 26 other items. Yeah, well, maybe cut it down to 21, you know. Yeah. That might pay for, you know. That might pay for an hour of labor. Yeah. <laughs> Lil Wayne. We have Limp Biscuit on CD as well. I am music. 52 bucks. You want to grab a crate? You can start, we'll start firing them off back and forth. I'm just going to grab all the small stuff here in this one. Let's grab all the small stuff first. Get that out of the way, okay? And that's gonna knock I'm just going to knock out the, yeah. Okay. So the doors, um, live in Bakerfield, August 1970, on a CD. Got uh, Dr. Dre, The Chronic, which last year they put out, was it April they did the album? Or was it Black Friday last year? Anyways, they put out the album. That's cool, they did it in a long box, just yeah, like you would see back old, in the 90s. The old school long box there, that's for, yeah. That's neat. Um, Limp Biscuit CD. There's the CD. The CD, by the way, looks like a record. It does. It looks like a record. Is the record yellow as well? Yeah. Because the CD, they've got made, uh, done in yellow as well. Um, Ultravox. Yeah, which we have the record as well for. Correct. That. Eric Carr. Have the record picture disc for that as well. Because they did this, what, last year? And they sold out and people were still looking for these? 
Was it him or was it somebody else? No, it was this record. Okay. It came out for Record Store Day, but it won't, so they're redoing it, but they're not, you know, doing it. Oh, and that looks like it's on, or, on orange. Yeah. That's pretty cool, too. So they're doing different versions. It's just um, me. Blue Coop. So Nick can tell the story behind this. So Blue Coop, we were fortunate enough to meet all these guys. It's uh, Joe Bouchard, Al Bouchard, who were brothers who were in the original Blue uh, Blue Oyster Cult Band. What your parents just saw Saturday. So that's, well. they're no longer in the band, but they were on the, in the band during the heydays. Mm-hmm. Um, and then... You got Dennis Dunaway, which is from the original Alice Cooper band. Those three guys got together and made a band called the Blue Coop. Obviously, Blue Oyster Cult, Alice Cooper, Blue Coop. If you like, or, or, you know, 70s Blue Oyster Cult, and you like early Alice Cooper, you're going to like Blue Coop, because it sounds just like that kind of music. It really is awesome. They're signed. All yeah. these are signed. 21 bucks for the CD, signed CDs for some rock stars. Met all those guys. They're pretty They're pretty cool dudes. Oh, yeah, the Dolly Parton. You know, we got that in, and we only got one. A customer um, ordered it, and then I got looking at it. I'm like, that looks like a really good we'll box. Get more. The Dolly Parton box, that looks really good. So we got this Phoenix 7-inch um, picture disc. So winter solstice on both sides. Um, the Hold Steady. This is saying a limited edition 7-inch featuring two unreleased songs. Um, it's recycled, eco-friendly color vinyl. Let's see what color this vinyl is. Since since they have them already open for us. Some funky red Christmas color, I guess. I don't know. That's cool. <laughs> and then Amy Mann. Amy Mann, Dead Eyes. So those are the 7-inch this and the CDs that we've gotten in. Mad Lib Medicine Show, and I just realized on the back they got a picture of the World Trade Center blowing up. Oh my god. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Let's set like, these aside. Looks like a photo from the. But anyway, 38 bucks. Les McCain. $77, but these are always a jumbo package. These are hand numbered, number 1620 out of 3,500. It's a 3L. Wait, no, it's more than that. One, two, no, it's. It's three LP. So it's a tri-fold Les McCain. Those are always sound good. And, always and obviously, we all grabbed wrong crates, so these aren't in any order at all. Yeah, they were. In if order, you want some order, you'll up. have to check the website because they should be in order by artist. Um, what do I have here? How come I pick up the one that? Oh, Olivia Rodrigo. Olivia Rodrigo. This one finally just came in. Must have come in Sunday or Monday. So we've got that one. It looks like it's an EP. It's only got four songs on it. Oh, it's got a price problem. Limited edition EP. We'll just cover the price and show it though. Pretty good. Leon Russell, Paradise. I think that's what it's called. No, it's called Hank Wilson Volume 2. And this was on Dark Horse, right? Dark Horse yeah. Records. That's that. West Montgomery. Winton Kelly Trio. 1965 Half Note. Another 3 LP set. Hand numbered. 77 bucks. They like that price. Yeah, they do. Uh, Rilo Kylie. I know we've had a lot of people asking about this. I'm not sure how many that we've gotten in. We got, a, we got, a, I mean, we got probably a good dozen, I would say. We did. I think we got, a, we have a decent amount. That's because that record was going for like $200. They haven't really? reissued it in like 15 years. So. Holy cow. So, I mean, what's it new now? 27. Yeah, so it's going to be great. Ripple, Soul Jazz Records, Ripple. Um, it's rare Groove Funk and Deep Soul album. That sounds pretty good. This originally released in 1973. J.D. McPherson, the Warm Covers LP. You know, I might have to give me a copy of that. I'm just going to go see him December 14th. Ooh, boy. Yeah, J.D. McPherson. Stoughton, Wisconsin. That's awesome. Meat Puppets, Forbidden Places. Full length LP, 35 bucks. First time reissue on vinyl on Black Swirl vinyl. Black Swirl. Mm-hmm. Um, Screaming Trees, wrong turn to, I can't say that bottom word, Je, Jehannam, live from Egg Studio, 1991. Motley Crue's Too Young to Fall in Love single remake. It's only 21 bucks. It's mm-hmm. celebrating the 40th anniversary of the Motley Crue record. Too Young to Fall in Love, Knock Him Dead Kid, and Take Me to the Top of the... So far, I only know that we've gotten one of these, and this is Late Night with Shabazz 3. Correct. I think we're only got one. That's the only one we've gotten in of that so far. 
The Monkees. Meet the Monkees. Friday Music, 38 bucks, colored vinyl. What did you request RSC to put out? The uh, Dolly Parton one? No, he requested the, um, the Rilo Kylie. Oh, okay. I got Schoolie D. If you guys haven't noticed, because this is the 50th anniversary of hip-hop this year, there are tons of hip-hop releases. Yeah. So there's some pretty cool stuff coming out that Schoolie D has got right here. Charles Mingus, Incarnations. 31 bucks, single LP. And uh, Souls of Mischief. 93 till infinity the remixes 35 this Joni Mitchell was voted as one of the most sought after records uh, by our customers people are really looking forward to this Joni Mitchell court and spark demos huh. and the price is right it's only 26 bucks it's full length I mean they got it's only six songs but the first side of song one is like it's eight four songs. parts isn't it well they break down this into four parts oh so. but okay. it's, it, in any case it's a full length it's not just a single. Rap reunions. So, yeah. 26 bucks. That should be good. Uh, Billy Strings featuring Willie Nelson. Ooh, I like that. So that's kind of pretty interesting. Um, California Sober and Whiskey River. Um, the second one, or, the second side must be live shows. So this is pretty cool. Avail so the Whiskey River is available only on this release. My Morning Jacket. Happy Holiday. The Christmas record by My Morning Jacket. 25 bucks. I might have to grab this. It's got some classic stuff on here. It's got some newer stuff on there. Um, I like it. And then we've got the Sia Every Day is Christmas Snowman EP. Pretty cool uh, splatter effect going on there. $22. Here's the Missing Persons. Clear blue vinyl. That's the 2500 that was supposedly canceled, but we got them here. <laughs> They maybe had just a little lack of communication. I And I get the first metal album I can't read. Slaughter to Prevail. Um, live in Moscow. Red, silver, black with black splatter vinyl at $32. Mamas and the Papas live at the Monterey Pop 67. One of the shows that broke them big. Uh, pretty cool. You get the whole show here on vinyl. Record story exclusive. And good old Skid Row. It's B side mm -hmm. ourselves. So this is um, twenty four dollars. It's got hang on. It's got five songs on it. Go ahead and do another one. I'm gonna um, switch over. Dan Sartain, The Lost Record. This huh, one I is didn't know that one. Yellow with black smoke vinyl. Uh, only a thousand of these made, and twenty eight dollars. I've got uh, Sacrilege, Party with God. Um, it feels like two LPs. I'm trying to read here whether it's or not, and I forgot my glasses. So Yes, yeah, double vinyl with silk screen printed on side one. Nas, I am the autobiography. I think it's like a best of. Uh, two LP, 32 bucks. Willie Nelson, Shotgun Willie. This is a deluxe package, by the way. It's a gatefold. Willie's groundbreaking 1973 record. It's two LPs, gatefold, 36 bucks. Um, Robbie Shanker and Ellie Akbar Khan. Two, it feels, I'm pretty sure it's two LPs. It's 50th anniversary edition, uh, $34. Doesn't give any lineup or anything. It is a gatefold. It feels like two LPs. That's all I can say on that right now. Napalm Death. They only made a thousand of them with this cool Obi strip for Black Friday. Orange splatter with Orange with white splatter vinyl, 36 bucks. We've got another sweet release, um, level-headed al alternate mixes and demos. Now, they had Sun Blue Vinyl, 2,500 units. They had one, I think, an April record store day sweet had a release. Uh, yes, day they've, they've well. been putting a lot of stuff on mm -hmm. record stores. I mean, everybody knows Piper, Ball and Blitz, right? Piper, Summer Breeze. Uh, what do we got on this thing? $34, single LP, ready to roll. Sparks live at the record plant 1974. Uh, 30 uh, clear vinyl limited edition 3500 units and $31. Prince and the new power generation get off a recreation of the rear 1991 one sided 12 inch DJ promo featuring damn near 10 minutes a version of what became the first single from Diamonds and Pearls. Ooh. A 10 minute, I didn't version. even like to see what songs were in there. Well, it's a single. 
but it's got the ten minute version of uh, of uh, of Get Off. <laughs> Any Prince fan on? The, I'm sure that's a pretty rare piece. Yeah. So DJ, I guess it was found now. So we have come found persons instead of missing persons. <laughs> Splinter. <coughs> The place, the, the place I love. Second one that I've noticed has been produced by George Harrison, of course, on uh, Dark Horse Records. And this one is 31. Polog? Dial Legend? Polo G. Polo G? Polo G. Glad you know. That's Polog. <laughs> 30 bucks shows on how much I know. I've Thir been looking at these things for the last week. I know. Margot oh. Price Strays. $24, single LP. Sangria Marble Vinyl. A Steeler. I think this is just self-titled. Yes, yeah, Steeler and Clear Red Vinyl, 2,500 units, $31. Lee Scratch Perry and Keith Richards. At least I know those guys. <laughs> They're 22 bucks. <laughs> it's original collaborations plus instrumental versions featuring Keith. We still have two more crates to go through. I know, that's why. I thought I... we only had three crates. Apparently not. What do I have here? Oh, Turnstile and Bad Bad Not Good. Turns out so huge now. Uh, must be an EP. There's only three songs on it. We didn't get many of those. Limited edition, black and white, clouds of vinyl. Hence the clouds on the front, right? $20. Kim Petras. She's darn near naked. She's pretty much naked she on the front. She is pretty much naked. $39. It's, it looks like it's all in French. Well, some of it is. Always got to have a, a, a naked cover record store date release, right? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing will ever beat the Dong record. No. Dong record was my favorite. Oscar Peterson, Con Alma, twenty six bucks single LP gatefold. Yeah, Brian, that that Prince L one does look like it's gonna be pretty good. A uh, Tantric, forty two dollars first time on vinyl, orange vinyl pressing, fifteen hundred copies. Post Malone, the Diamond Collection. I Two LP, I, I think it's basically a greatest hits. Um, two LP, coming out. Post Malone. Tank and the Bangas. $24, not much. It's called Floating. Wendy Yo Williams, the Plasmatics, put out Maggots, the record. Lipstick Red Collector Concert poster on there. Uh, plasmatic records are not easy to find. Forty-one buck. I don't think I've ever had an original copy of this. Oh. Here is Graham Parsons and the Fallen Angels, the last roundup. Uh, 1973 concert, uh, two LP. I think this is going to be a huge hit. Uh, it's, it's on the Amoeba label, which is pretty crazy. It must have put it out themselves. It's a definitive two LP collection of Graham's complete performance and the original sequence. Includes versions of Sin City, Love Hurts, Drugstore, Truck Driving Man. Be, first, be solo, album. first new solo grand material in 40 years. In how many? 40 or 4? Four? 40 years. Four, I was going to say, 4 that doesn't seem right. Yeah. Um, 3 6 Mafia. Mm. With another one with a cool OB strip on it. Are you done with this crate? No, I've got those couple ones right there. Um, called Unbreakables. This is two LPs at $43. Then I have a Taproot. Yeah, Blue Sky really. Research. They just played local. They just played uh, the, Belvedere like four months last, ago. This is um, the vinyl debut as well. This is uh, forty two dollars. Got Kale Jader, another jazz album here, live at the Penthouse, sixty three to sixty seven. Um, four LPs at sixty six dollars. These are uh, numbered edition of twenty five hundred. Anyways, we'll just go through this stack. U2. Uh, $41. Here is the Ultravox Stephen Wilson Stereo Mix. Two LPs. That is uh, $35. And Virulence. If this isn't a dream. I think that's what it said. If this isn't a dream. And that is uh, $21. Faces. Had me a real good time. Live at the BBC. 30 bucks. Single LP. We got the cool picture disc. Take it off featuring A tag. That's the bucket Fisher hat. and A tag. The bucket hat. Yep. It's a bucket hat record. Yes, it is. 26 bucks. 
Bucket hats are so in right now. They are. I should have worn mine today. Sure. One of mine today. Um, have a 10 inch, the Water Boys, This Is the Sea. I think it's like the only 10 inch it's, top. It yeah. is that we've got. Yeah. And the Passenger. This is um, a fast version at $21. Flaming Lips Live 2002 Yoshimi Battles the Pink yeah, Robots. Sell really well. Oh man, this is their golden era where they play all the all the good hits off live. Twenty six bucks. That's when I saw that Graham title. Parsons cover, that's the that's the first thing I thought too. Is that it looked like from, CSM? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Jerry Garcia and David Grisman. There's a, of course always a bunch of Garcia and dead stuff. Uh, two LP, forty six bucks. So what? And the only birthday I'm going to mention today, because we have a war box set for Record Store Day, uh, Leroy Lonnie Jordan from War, born in 1948, his birthday today. World is a ghetto. So we've got uh, 126 on this. How many? It's the original LP on gold vinyl plus six never released bonus tracks. I'm not sure. There's four albums, I think. Three. Three, Three. So there's the original album, the bonus tracks, and then the making of, which might be interviews. I'm not sure what that third one is. Huh. Pretty cool. A landmark album. Sure to be a hit. I got Goody Mob. Soul Food. Soul Food. Mm hmm. Mm. 43 bucks. Single LP, or is this two? It's two LP. This X. is X Eight Love Grand at thirty two dollars. Here's the first Goo Goo Dolls record, nineteen eighty seven first studio album, Pure Raw Punk, by the Goo Goo Dolls on uh, red vinyl. Yep, Post is a best of record. Thank you for letting us know that the Post Malone. Oh, good. Um, X Cops, you have the right to remain silent. Um, featuring members of Guar. Yeah, ex cops. In cover of Deep Purple's Highway Star. Now, I really want to hear the song Cavity Search because I want to know how you put that in a song. I'm just looking at some of the songs on the back here. It's Guar. The guys from Guar, <laughs> they're just, you know. Yeah. Typical Guar fashion. Definitely. Uh, Government Mule, Time of the Signs, 24 bucks. Uh, Rob Zombie picture disc. Uh, the Lunar. Injection Kool-Aid Kool -Aid. Eclipse Conspiracy. Say that five times really fast. That's a picture right? disc of that record, mm -hmm. I think. It is a full length. Let me get this one out of my way here so that I can move crates. Young Blood. Oh man, that was the biggest artist on the planet last year, or even maybe early this year. Five year anniversary edition of the of uh, Young Blood's debut album. Very Forty seven dollars. Cool. Dexter Gordon and Sly to Hamilton, Hampton. A day in Copenhagen. It says it's on limited edition. I can hardly read it. Something colored, sky blue colored 180 gram vinyl. I want to go to Copenhagen. I got Jerry Garcia and John Kahn doing gold vinyl pure Jerry. Single LP, but it's a big old package. It's a gatefold. It looks like there's two records. I guess there's only one. Oh, it says set one and set two, not hmm. LP one and LP two. Hmm. So, I bet it's a two LP. It's got to be seventy five hundred. Looks like I'm getting to the baby soundtracks. Various artists now, um, written in their soul, the hits, it's the stacks songwriter demos. That's cool. Yeah, uh, twenty eight dollars on orange vinyl. It looks like. I got Grateful Dead's. They do a box every year. You know about it. 126 bucks for this one. It's five LP set, etched tenth side, uh, 1969, March second of '69. Getting to some gaming song. Oh, um, I missed music. that. Oh. Konami Classics, the best of NES. Oh. That was Nintendo, right? Nintendo yeah. Entertainment. Original set. NES. NES. So look at all the. It's got all the, the games pictures. on the back. Hot pink vinyl at $32. I might need that one too. <laughs> Chico Hamilton, the master. $31, single LP. That one would probably be pretty good. 
Hey, did any of you see that show on Netflix called Whip, Whiplash? I think it was about the kid who's a jazz drummer, man. If you haven't watched it, okay. great show, Whiplash. I think was the name of it. We've got uh, Noise for Now, Volume 1. So various artists. Um, Jason Isbell, Amanda Shires, Fleet Foxes, and more. I'm just, oh, my morning jacket's on there. There's all the lineup of who's on it. Slater Kenny. Well, that's the one for abortion. Uh, abortion, yeah. yeah. Gary Hoey. Art, art, the ho, ho, hoey hits. <laughs> but it's, what it, I didn't know what it was, but it's, it's the most memorable rock and instrumental Christmas covers ever. It's all instrumental, which is kind of cool. But it's like a rock instrumental version of it. Well, that would be, that would be yeah. nice for background music. It's worth picking up. 31 yeah. bucks. Um, Asteroid City soundtrack. Good movie. Got that here. Um, trying to see who's all on it. Wow, it's got some weird stuff on it. Yeah, Mark Mother's Tex Ball. Ritter, Burl Ives, The Springfields, um, Slim Whitman. Wow, they're digging into the, the old time. Yeah. Here. Good movie, too. John Lee Hooker, live at Cafe A Go Go. 27 bucks, single LP. Of course, Johnny Hooker's still popular. And, oh, I, I can't believe I haven't seen this. So, this is soundtrack Blood Simple. And I usually watch that? all the Cohen movies. Oh, I, I didn't even, I don't know this movie, and I love the, them as producers and directors or whatever they are. So, um, I don't know the movie, so I can, really can't tell, say anything about it, but it's $31. Nora Jones playing along. 30 bucks, single LP. With Jeff Tweedy, Mark Rubier, Logic, all sorts of people out there. David J, Tracks from the Attic. This is a big old package. 71 bucks. They're only making 500 copies of this. Which one? Free LP set. Yeah, that's one we just got in. David J, it's gonna, it's the right rarity number. 500 is not much. Jesus Lizard, Blue. This is a $36 metallic blue copy. Only 2,000 copies being made of this. What do I have here? I have the soundtrack for Death Becomes Her. All right. Um, yeah. Purple vinyl. <laughs> Joan Jett and the Blackhearts, Mindsets, which looks just like the ministry record that's coming out. Does it? There's a ministry record that's coming out. They look very similar. $27, single LP, full length. This one, of course, looks pretty interesting. This jazz dispensary at the movies. Always, got, the jazz dispensaries are always popular. They are. Booker T. And the MGs, Isaac Hayes, The Blackbirds, Melvin Van Peoples. It's got some good uh, good artists on here. Majamal, Emerald City Nights, Live at the Penthouse. Of course, it's numbered to three. They're only making 3,000 of them, 51 bucks. Punk Ghost Christmas. Yes. Two LPs, I think. Yeah, two LPs on green, 45 RPM vinyl, limited edition, $34. There's a good old lineup. And because we don't show the backs of the albums on on our website, if you ever want to know the track listing, go into the recordstoreday.com, pull up the, um, there's two versions. There's a PDF file, and I think there's a web version. If you pull up the web version and scroll down, it will give you the track list of what's on every album. There's some good people on there. Yeah. Elysium. I don't know what this is. 2LP Deluxe, 36 bucks. Fallen Embers Deluxe. I'm betting this is like EDM music. <laughs> well, the inventory number is only at one right now, so. <laughs> um, we'll try to fix that. Today. And Blood Simple is their first film. Okay, I'll, I'm going to have to see if I can find that and take a watch. In Excess, Shabu, 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 yeah. Shabu Shuba. Shabu Shuba. I think it's just the opposite down there at the bottom. Rarities. Yeah. On gold vinyl. 27 bucks. That's another one you want to say five times real fast, right? I've got Red Hot Ra, which uh, Nuclear War, which is a um a tribute to Sun Ra. And $35 is volume one. Jonas Brothers, greatest hits. The family business. Greatest hits featuring DNCE solo work by Nick Jonas. In this cool uh, outer slipcase, 52 bucks. 
I don't know. This must is this a soundtrack or something? It's the music Let's of. Let's go dancing, said the firefly to the hurricane. It's a compilation celebrating the songs of Kevin Kinney. That's right, and driving and crying. Okay, so it's this one. I got Spice One. Spice, spice One two. two LP. One eight seven. He wrote right on it. You know what one eight seven is? What is it? One eight seven is the the police the call for the penal code. Oh. I think. I don't know if it's every state, but it's the code for murder. Yeah. So what happens when you got a net on the, on duty? She knows all the police codes. <laughs> I wrestled the bear once. Single LP, limited run vinyl, thirty six dollars. Purple vinyl. California Penal Code one eighty seven is murder. Yep. Why did I know that? I think I've already. You worked at the police office long enough. <laughs> yeah. Eric yes, Dolphy, did. Iron Man, thirty one dollars. Single LP, gold vinyl. Uh, music from the motion picture, picture Judgment Night. That's, That's some interesting We've stuff had on so it. many people ask about this prior to Record Store Night. People are always looking for the soundtrack. And there's a lot of collaborations between hip hop artists and rock artists. So um, you've got Pearl Jam and Cypress Hill, Sonic Youth and Cypress Hill, Living Color and Run DMC, Slayer and Ice T, just to name a few. So That's a pretty interesting album right there. Grimies. Justin Towns Earl, alive at Grimies. 26 bucks. And it's a nice little gatefold they got. Looks like it's at their old location, too. The back, I don't know. I haven't been to their new location, but it doesn't give that vibe. Looks like the old location. Hard to know. I'm going to go through these next four all together because it's, it's, okay. the, it's the Tough City Salutes. And these are four of the hip hop releases. They're various artists. That are um, coming out. So we've got um, the female MCs. I think these are all thirty dollars for a price. Yeah, they're all the same price. Um, this one is the MC Crew. The Crews. I'm sorry. And I'm the Crew. Um, the DJs. And the last one is the solo MCs. Mm. So. Those are kind of cool. Thirty bucks. Yeah. Are they all on colored vinyl? Yeah, one's yeah. on red, one's on red, one's on blue, Winners is on yellow. Yellow. Cool. I like it. Yeah. Electric Blood. Transfusion. Only 32 bucks. Bill Evans Tales. Lot in Copenhagen. 31 bucks. Limited to $5,000. $31 up there. Here's that other Justin Towns Earl. Yuma. 30 bucks. Is that just an EP? I thought one was just an EP. Um, I'm mistaken. It's a debut EP on gold okay. vinyl. Um, Light in the Attic and Friends. Um, not sure what the story behind this is. Over a decade into making this new collection, Light in the Attic and Friends. Uh, legendary artist. So, yeah, I don't know much about it, but it's $47. It's got all kinds of people on it. The English Beat. I just can't stop. If you're in the ska, of course you know about these guys. 2LP, limited edition, clear vinyl, 36 Gil Evans, 10 and 10 on Prestige. It's a limited edition mono record, 34 bucks. Divine Spirituals. This is um, various artists. And I think they only made 500 of those. They're oh, really, really? really limited. This is um, volume three. I've never seen any other volumes. 24. Yeah, and there's nothing on here that says what it is. But Maybe I think it's very. It was 300. It was really I can tell low. you real, real quick here. The Flesh Tone Stocking Stuffer. I love that cover. Nope, nope, I don't have that list. 30 bucks, yeah, single list. LP. In here. Fraternity, second choice. Second chance, excuse me. $47. 600 on the Divine. 600. I knew it was pretty low. Um, this one looks really good, too. Um, Studio One Kings, the original. And this is um, $46. I think it may or may not be two LPs. It is a gatefold. No. So in case you forgot, no, not. Bon Scott of ACDC is yep. in this band, mm -hmm. Fraternity. That's pretty cool. Put that out there. YouTube there. Um, 
Black Jazz Records, the complete singles. So this is the first, this 2LP set, first ever collection of single sides from the legendary Black Jazz label, limited to 2,000 copies. Dungan 4. They put one out last year, too. 37 bucks. This one looks like it's a 2LP. They had one out last year. I don't remember that. They had a record. We've got Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Sound, this sound The back. horror sound Winnie back. the Pooh movie. Digital Underground. The Body Hat Syndrome. This is 36 bucks, two LPs. And the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. Great little 30 minute movie too, if you haven't seen it. It's, it's not a real, it's not a full length. Oh. But it's really good little short movie, little short film. Obviously great music. 31 dollars. The Doors. This is the number one most requested record at our store already. It is. Live in Bakersfield, more people wanted this in our, our survey than mm -hmm. any other release. 12,500 being made, uh, 41 bucks. El Nino y El Sol. This is um, Ocote Soul Sounds, Adrian Quesada. And this is from a, a movie soundtrack. $26. Mickey Dolan's Friday only Music. Only living member left of the monkeys. Only living member left. Colored vinyl. Friday Music pressed it. Gatefold. I've never seen this record. Is this, does this even actually exist? I don't know. What's the year? Prior to this? Is there a year on it? Um, 1991. So it's probably only on CD. CD. 38 bucks. 13th Floor Elevators. Bull of the Woods. Uh, $31. Death. If you guys are into metal. This is individual thought patterns, and they always put these on color crazy vinyl. Ooh, pretty. Yeah. Um, who do I have here? Oh, all time low. Alive at Wembley. Not just live at Wembley, but alive at Wembley. I like that. $27. Also, a highly requested record. The Bo Diddley, I'm a man, yeah. Chess Masters, 55 to 58. It is four LPs. That will be pretty good. 133 bucks. Wow. We've got Anvil Cat from Studio 4. This is an acoustic EP at $28. You got a stack I can do? Yeah, anything beyond right here. there. Mm -hmm. That's the end. That's the end of it. This is um, Beast Coast. Escape from New York, and it is $43. Blast, B-L-X-S-T. Something like that, right? 18 bucks. It's four, four song EP, put it on Red Bull Records. They're always really cheap. $18 is cheap for anything. And this is the Black Angels uh, Levitation Sessions at $41 for that one. Dirk's Bentley, Up on the Ridge. $31. It is a full length. It's got 12 songs on it. Got the Chet Baker trio featuring Philip Catherine, Chet's Choice, uh, 2 LP Gatefold at $51. Ray says that Mickey Dolan's is a new record. Uh, it's actually really good, he says. What a, no, he what? said his new record of remix oh, covers remix. is actually uh, really good. Okay. Yeah. I, say, I thought I said 91 on it. What the hell happened to Blood, Sweat, and Tears? What the hell did happen to them? Two LPs, 1970 live recordings from the acclaimed documentary. This is the Beat Nuts. <laughs> the Psycho Le Fashion Juju, Intoxicated Demons, the EP, at $31. Bottle Rockets. This is uh, Black Friday debut, alt country classic. A maroon vinyl, only 2000 being made. Then this one really confused me. It's Jeff Bet Beck and the album's called Tribute. When I was thinking when I first saw this, I'm thinking it's a tribute to him, but it's yeah. not. Um, $24. Buck Cherry, Time Bombs. This is their vinyl debut, the 2001 Walk on the Wild Side from Buck Cherry and lead singer Josh Todd. 2000 copies. I think this one will go really well, too. The um, Beach Boys Christmas album at $31 exclusive by Green Vinyl. Brubeck, live from the Northwest, 1959. Wow. Brubeck, always popular, 34 bucks. 
It's a good pickup. Marion Brown and Leo Smith Creative Improvisation Ensemble, $29. Queen Cambria, live at the Starland Ballroom. This is, I think, before I ever saw him. I've probably seen Cody a dozen times. Um, but this is an early show. This is probably from 05. So it's their first two records, basically, is what this is. Uh, Cypress Hill, Black Sunday. This is a 2023 remixes at $25. Beefheart, the Magic Band, Shiny Beast, $41. Um, Zarface. Zarface Zar Zar stole the ball. Um, Zartificial Intelligence, $28. Collective Soul, live at the print shop. And we are almost done. 2LP, $24. That is it's a two good, LPs? It's one, but oh, it's a gateful. I said two LP. Okay. I'm, I, I'm done. What do you got? SIBO Gas Chamber. Chad? At $27. Got Terry Killier. Speak Your Peace. At $35. And the last one to show today is Matt Cameron. Gory Scorch Cretans. There you go. At $21. And that is what we got so far. Now we're, it's Tuesday. We got a couple days. A few more pieces might show up. If you're wanting to look at the list again, see what the prices I'll are, see the pictures. Again. And that's going to drop the link back in the, the chat. Um, you can check that out. You can always call us maybe when tomorrow, Wednesday, just to confirm how many we got. We're going to try to put the quantities up today. Yeah, what we've got in at least. If some extras come in tomorrow, then... It's not going to be a big deal because it probably won't be not like we got the other day. We boxes are, and boxes and boxes and boxes. We are open 8 a.m. Black Friday. So, so, so don't sleep in. Line starts in the front of the building per usual. I will do a live feed. I don't know if I'll do a whole day live feed, but I'll do at least a good. I'll probably come in and out. I'll probably do like right when we open, to take a me. lunch break, and then we'll kind of continue on yeah. work after the day. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I don't know sure. if I'll do a straight all the way through like I usually do. But just to give everybody a break and to let us kind of get through mm -hmm. stuff. You need lunch and stuff. So, But uh, thanks so much for watching. Next week, yeah. we'll tell you how it all went. Yes, um, we will. I will be putting up more videos. I, I'll probably just use this as all the release video, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll probably put up more stuff as we get closer. Yeah, if we get any updates or, yeah. or whatever. If we do get the ones that are, that are on the list, that those seven that we don't have so far. We can do a short video on that. Until then, we'll see you on Black Friday. Have a great Thanksgiving, everybody. <laughs> yeah. I put the quantity phone in. Phone orders? Yeah, we'll take phone orders like we usually do. Prop. What do you think? I'm thinking 10-ish. Ten? Ten, we'll announce it on the live video like we always do. Right. So probably around 10-ish. That should get everybody in line through yeah. and let us get... Yeah. Black Friday is always faster than April. So right. That's uh, it's always a little yep, bit. Yep. So phone true. orders will be a go on on Friday. Yep. Definitely. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you. Have a great Thanksgiving. Enjoy your your day, your turkey day. Yeah. And we will see you bright and early for the Black Friday. All right.